Have you ever wondered when you go to documentations like W3 schools or something like MDN or RIA documentation or even the most popular like Stack Overflow itself and if you really wonder like how do they have really the beautiful uh, beautified code snippets out there it's like you know it really feels that the website really contains out the code really decorated as if it was an ID itself or a text editor itself so if you really wonder like how to do it this video is just for you in this today's video we are going to talk about how you can convert or beauty or you can really stylize your code from this to this one so if that's really sound really good to you consider subscribing to this channel make sure to share this video on every other platform being said that let's get started so we are right now in the computer so let's try out to make our own folder let's let's name it as a really like syntax highlighter and what we will do is just we'll go within it and we'll try to open vs code let me open this kit bash okay let me just close this one So as you can see, my Visual Studio code is up right here. You can use any of the code editor that you want, whether it be VS Code, Sublime, or Atom, whichever is your favorite one. So I'm I'm really creating an index.html file. What happened? Okay, okay. So yeah, as you can see that my index.html file has really gone up live. So before going on to really just type of and getting the code, I really want to show you how you how you guys can really do it upon. So there are various ways you can really highlight your code, and there are a bunch of libraries to do it. So first one is like highlight JS, the second one is of Prism JS, and the third one is of Rainbow. Well, there are a couple of other libraries as well like google has its own and shjs has its own but for this demo what we are going to use is like for highlight js as well and you might say why only highlight js because it has 185 language support and 95 styles in it that and that has really a lot of things even the prism js is really limited to only few of this style but if you really want me to make another video regarding it just comment down to below and i'll really make sure that i will really make a video on it so being said that we will just go right up here in the, into their head and we will see that what's the uses of it now what they say that you know you really need that the library you really need to download all these things for example uh, let's go behind so if i really see so as you can see you can choose whatever your custom packages are you can include that in your local repository uh in your project file whatever you want whether it's javascript whether it's c sharp whether it's certain things and whatever you really like and as per and you can select your you can really click this download button and it also really selects and you can also use this cdn as well number one to really get started with it you really have to follow these commands you just have to link this style sheet and write up here but instead of going and downloading up there what we are really going to use is we will use the cdn right up here so what we will just go and write out the cdnjs.com and we will really search for uh, highlight Okay, yeah, there is there is it. And as you can see, there are a bunch of other libraries out here. So what you can do is like go right up here. 
so uh, we, so we're really choosing first libraries and the cdn right up here so first of all what we will do is like go up and set up here so i'm using the emit so that is that really helps to create the boilerplate out here this this exclamation and enter and what we will just will rename it for the sake of denoting like what we are doing so highlight highlight js demo syntax highlighting okay and after renaming it what we will do is just go back to this site click on this it you know, you know copy extend it and what we will do is we will copy the script tag and we will just go right here and what we will do is really ensure that it will go back right here again and again what we will do is really choose the theme that we really want now let's suppose there are various themes in it let's choose whatever we really want number one so there are vs 2015 there is uh, xt and there is tomorrow night there is something called night owl which is one of my favorite uh, and if you really like anything we will also really get to that point but for this demo uh, i'll really choose this one night owl theme and yeah so i'll just click this one and i'll really control f and uh, ght night owl here yeah here i got i'll really just do it and make sure that i really interrupt right here and what i'll do is really for initializing it so let's see the demo let's see the usage policy what it really denotes so you really need the css file for the theme itself you really need the script tag for highlighting it and uh, that we have done by cdn itself and what we will really need is just this line to really just initialize it so that our code can get beautified okay and yeah and then we have to really copy this one and we will we need to paste up right here so as our code is with the react itself and it contains the both what we will do is like instead of renaming it to html we are really going to rename it to the javascript okay and really enter in this one so where's the code right so we will use this code to really highlight it so as it is what what i have done is like so i have really fetched this code from my github repository as you can see it's a raw code and i'll copy everything regarding this one Control c and what i'll do is really like paste up right here okay and so and what i'll really do is really start my live server so i have really extension called live server that really helps you write it so as you can see its code is really highlighted but as you can see the code is really bricked right here uh, from britain itself so how to fix it number one i really asked the the maintainer of this site so what's going on number one so it uh, so he really suggested that you know you really need to return the raw html element regarding it not the native regarding it because this one really this div tag really creates a confusion about what it is so instead of really going through it what we will do is really like so control d select every sorry so we will just select this first anchor tag Control D, 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 like every Control D, what we could do, and just rename it Control and LT, okay. And as you can see, the code is right now really working flawlessly and highlighted. So what I'll really do is really try to check whether it's really working or not. So as you can see, the, uh, the helmet tag is really right up here. Oh, I just missed out this one. So what I'll do is really select this anchor tag, left anchor tag, Control D to select to get selected everything, 
and control and LT number one and as you can see the code is now highlighted now why they have done this the I really asked them because and they said that there is a possible risk of uh, HTML injection and we don't want to get accused like doing something mischief into the others website as well so that's why we have done it and you just have to really modify a couple of few tags in just few steps in your text editor and that's done so let's this is just a night owl theme for example let's try out some other themes as well number one uh, what I'll really do is like XT right okay this is XT we'll do it control here and what we'll do we'll just go up right here and we'll do paste up right here as well sorry control z okay yeah so you can see right uh, sorry you can see right up here so you the the, the code has been really modified into the different theme so it depends upon what theme did you choose which one is your favorite and which really suits according to the looks of your website as well so this was the demo i hope you like it if you have any question queries comments or any some sort of suggestion just leave down into the comment below and i'm really happy to get back to you so till then stay connected stay subscribed to my channel and i'll see you next time